Hello everybody, I am Eric Cartman, the famous scientist and researcher, and today I'm going to tell you how to make cartoons. Watch this lesson, and at the end of it you will be able to make your own little cartoon. All you need to begin the exciting journey into the mysterious world of animation is just the Adobe After Effects program, the most recent version of which you can download from the official website of the company. <laughs> Uh -oh. Something wrong. In theory, it should be just a laser pointer. Yeah, that should be better. So, you can download After Effects from the official site of Adobe Company. Or you can use earlier, but more simple and more affordable version of the program After Effects 7. Download links to which are on YouTube, on our channel's page. We ourselves use this particular version. Its capacity is sufficient for creating animated films. And the interface is virtually no different from most modern versions of program. Well, you had set up Adobe After Effects. Now is the big time to start it. What you'll see in the beginning? You'll see the program's interface divided in separate panels. Think of it as a modern, high-tech factory intended for the production of your cartoon. Each panel is a separate department that performs a specific function. Let's take a look at the individual panels and their functions. The very first and the main panel is a project panel. You will assemble your cartoon of the various files that are stored somewhere on your computer, or maybe even on another computer on the network. In order to use these files in your animation, you must first add them to your project. This process is called importing. That is, to use any files in your cartoon, you must first import them into your project. So the project panel is the warehouse which stores all the files you have imported. Here you can sort them, to lay them out in folders that you had a clear view and it was convenient to work with them. The next panel is Timeline panel. Timeline is a line of time. It is so called because on it our cartoon unfolds minute by minute, second by second, as it's shown in a history textbook. And so, the timeline is assembly line, which assembles our cartoon of the details that you have prepared in the project panel. And finally, the viewer panel. This is the monitor with the help of which you see what is going on your assembly line, it is on the timeline, and see what kind of cartoon you got in the end. Hey Stan, are you sure that this is indeed the appropriate greeting? Got no doubt, dude. I googled all over the internet. This is the most fashionable greeting this season. But what does it mean? Ha, huh, nobody really knows the meaning of this inscription, but just believe me, it's awful fun. These three panels, project panel, timeline and viewer, are the main elements of the program After Effects. With them you often have to work. And now we can proceed to the creation of our first cartoon. For this purpose you can use any suitable images. But for the first time, for simplicity, I recommend that you use images that we have specially prepared for this lesson. Visit our portal generalanimation.com. Go to Downloads and download the archive Lesson 1 files. There you also can download the distributive of Adobe After Effects, if you do not already have one. Create somewhere on your computer, on the D drive for example, a folder called Lesson 1, and unzip into it the archive you had downloaded. Now run the program After Effects. It will open a blank project. Let's fill it with content. In the file menu select Import File. This will display the import window. Go there in the folder Lesson 1 you just had created and select the, the image Background TV. Click on Open. Well, you imported Background TV and it appeared in the project window. Similarly, import the next file, which is called Fish A. Now, in the project panel, you have two files. And I think you are already quite familiar with the process of import. And so we can move to the animation. It is the timeline, which so far is absolutely empty. But on an empty timeline we cannot do anything. To assemble on the timeline our animation, we must first of all create on it composition. Composition is the working environment of timeline in which we make our cartoons. Create a new composition is very easy. At the bottom of the project panel there is a small button with the picture of a film frame on it. This is the button to create a new composition. Click on it and opens a window to create a new composition. In this window we need to set the format of the video for our composition. Choose standard PAL D1 DV. Also, we got to specify the duration of the composition in hours, minutes, seconds and frames. I think for beginning, one minute will be quite enough. Click OK. 
In the project panel, you will have the composition comp1, with a distinctive icon, and this same composition appeared on the timeline. Now you can put pictures on it. Grip by the mouse file background TV, drag it and release in the left part of the timeline panel. You can see that once the file appeared on the timeline panel, it immediately formed its own layer with the number 1. Note the small triangle to the left of the file name. Click on the triangle by the mouse and then on another and you'll see list of parameters of the layer. These parameters determine the appearance of the object contained in the layer. Take for example the scale parameter, which sets the scale of displaying for the object. By this parameter we can change the image's size. If the scale is 100%, the object displays in full size. At larger and smaller values respectively, it increases or decreases. We can set the value of parameter entering the numbers, or just move your pointer to the value you want to change and holding down the left mouse button, move the mouse left and right. Close the parameter list so that it does not interfere with us. Let us now put the next file on the timeline, fish A. As you can see, by some reasons the fish appeared behind our TV. If you want that a new image was visible on the screen on top of the previous one, it is necessary that layer with this image was located on the timeline above all the other layers. Fortunately, we can easily move files on the timeline with the mouse. Drag and drop file fish A so as it was above background TV. Well, now everything is correct. We see our fish in all its beauty. Let's make it a bit smaller. Expand the list of the layer parameters and enter the value 30% for the scale parameter. Now the fish has become smaller and can even swim in our aquarium. How can we make it move? So far our image is absolutely static. This is because we have not activated animation. Animation turns on by this little watch to the left of each item. Take the position parameter. It determines the position of the fish on the screen. The watch to the left of the position parameter is not activated, so the position of the fish does not change with time. But click this watch by the mouse. On the timeline opposite the position parameter appears a small icon that looks like an hourglass. This icon indicates that at this point we have created a keyframe. That is, in this point we recorded the position of our fish. Please note that the keyframe is created in point where located current time indicator. This red thread. Now grab the current time indicator by the handle in the form of a small triangle and drag along the timeline to the 5 seconds mark. This would mean that there passed 5 seconds of our cartoon. Suppose, for example, we want the fish during this time move to the top left corner of the screen. Just grab the fish with the mouse and drag to where you want it to be. Look and behold! Opposite the position parameter, in the place where there is a current time indicator, immediately appears a keyframe mark. That means the program remembered the position of the object in this frame. And in general, if animation of any parameter is turned on, once the program detected the change in this parameter, it immediately creates a keyframe to remember these changes. Intermediate values of parameters between keyframes, the program calculates by itself, so that creates the illusion of movement. Let's check it on our fish. Move the current time indicator back to the beginning of the cartoon and press the space bar on your keyboard to launch the viewer. Our fish starts to move. As we planned, in 5 seconds it moved to the top left corner of the screen and froze motionless, because further we do not have any keyframes. Let's continue the movement of the fish. Move the current time indicator to the 10th second of our cartoon and drag our fish to the right bottom corner of the screen. Then go to 15 second and let the fish move into the top corner. And so to the end. Start the viewer and see what you got. Everything is wonderful. But sometimes our fish swims tail first. Right now we'll teach it to turn around. But first let us take a closer look at this time scale on our timeline.